Having set our text up, it is now time to shape our main menu. Let's start with uh, fixing the blurriness of our text. And we have to look into a couple variables here. Let me dock the game view again and go back into our scene view. Hit the F key to focus on the text so that we can see it very clearly. All right, let's change it to say, instead of hello world, let's have it say play game. And you can do this, of course, by changing the text perimeter just like you would with the two-dimensional text. All right, and then for the font, it says Arial Rounded Bold. We don't want that. We want it to be a little bit uh, uniform in our game and use our gunplay font. So let's uh, drag that font out and drag it right on top of it. And as you can see, everything gets distorted from here. The reason for that is, is that our font material is still set to that of Arial. So let's drag that one on top of our element here. And as you can see, it fixes the text. However, it is still very blurry. Now, the blurriness is our anti-aliasing at work. Uh, of course, anti-aliasing is good in a lot of places, but not when your text is too small. So what we'll do is go back to our font material and change the font size to something higher than 20, for example, 30. As you can see right now, the font's getting bigger. Let's make it even bigger, 40. And that would do the trick. Now go back to our new text and then change the character size instead of 1 to 0.3 for example. Well, maybe a little bigger, 0.4. How about 0.35? And as you can see, the crispiness is uh, almost gone now. I still think it is a little bit too fuzzy. So let's change the size to something like 60. Apply that. And right now our font's looking really great. Let's look at our game view. As you can see, it is too big for our camera, so there's two things we can do. Change the font size or move the camera away. In this case, we're still working on the font size, so let's do that. Change it to 0 0.2, for example. Look at our game view, and that'll work just fine. Okay, very nice. The crispiness issue has been solved. Now, what we need to do is make sure that we can actually click on the text. Now, this is easier done than you think, just go to our components menu and from the physics menu add a sphere collider. Now in our tutorial series or this course we've already looked at rigid bodies, character controllers and box collider but uh, of course we can use any type of collider to collide in the world. Now in this case we want this to be around the text so a box collider will do just fine. And as you can see, it adds that yellow line that we have been gotten so comfortable with already, and a box collider is added to the mix. Now all we need to do is add some script that if we go over with our mouse that we can actually click it. But before we do that, let's change the name of our text to T underscore new game. I always use T for texts. And then let's duplicate that one and call the second one T quit. Let's move the second one down a little bit and retype our text to say quit. Alright, it's looking pretty main menu-ish already. So now all we need to do is add a little bit of script to actually hover our mouse over this and make it work. Now, I don't really like the angle of the camera right now on our menu so let me grab the camera and from the Y view move it back just a little more and up a little more and then perhaps a little closer like that and let's angle it a little more alright that looks pretty fine next let's get to our scripting and make this menu actually load our level 